When a collector buys an artwork, he is not only buying someone's extraordinary skills, but also emotions, ideology and or philosophy of someone who is deeply engrossed in a subject since a long time, in the case of senior artists, and a passionate person with a vision in the case of emerging ones. Namaste and welcome to BTC, a show where the viewers get to know about the functioning of the art market that takes place behind the canvas. So in the first episode of BTC, today I'll discuss with you how to value an artwork or what is the process of valuation of an artwork. Many of us are familiar with several articles and news about how Warhol painting sold for $105.4 million dollars at Sotheby's or Francis Bacon Three Studies of Lucian Freud sold for $142.4 million dollars after six minutes of bidding in the room and on phone at Christie's in New York, the most expensive piece of art ever auctioned. Meanwhile, in India, M.F. Hussain's Oil on Canvas, Battle of Ganga and Jamuna sold for 13.44 crore rupees and sets a world record, while Boys with Lemons by Amrita Shergill, which was never auctioned before, sold for 15.68 crore rupees at Saffron Art. These prizes can be called auction prizes. An auction prize is the mix of current market price of the artist plus the premium you pay for the extraordinary quality, rarity and the age of the object. The Confusion Auction prizes are different from the prizes quoted for artists, mainly living artists, in the primary market. Let's start with several questions which mostly all the first time buyers face. How are they priced? How would you know what the actual MRP is? How does the pricing of an artwork work in a primary market? How does one decide its pricing? On what basis will you know if we are buying at the right price? What is the process of valuation? How does an artwork is priced before it is exhibited on walls? Deciding Parameters Art, like other products, is seen as a commodity when it comes to the market. However, this commodity gives you sole experience and a visual delight. A commodity that enhances your life and adds a better living experience be it home or office. Few of the basic norms or parameters that decide the pricing of an artwork are Education Does it really matter how educated the artist is? To a certain extent, yes. Though art is all about creativity, a strong fine arts base gives an artist wings to explore and expand himself in perspective to skills and thought process, which otherwise can limit an artist's scope to spread his vision and art. Exhibitions Where is he or she exhibited? In London, Paris, Singapore or Mumbai? With whom? Leading art galleries or curators? How many shows? To have an opportunity to consistently present oneself amongst the best of industry colleagues and spaces speaks a volume for artists and their works. Style and Variation A first-time buyer may have doubts if his selected artist is not a one-time wonder or knows only one style to paint or draw. Brownie points are added to an artist's value when he can work in various subjects and adapt to different styles and mediums. By that, one can judge his mastery over his art and craft and understands he has the ability to offer. The Collectors The one who invests, collects and buys in an artist's work. Who are they? Are they good at collecting or buying art just for the sake of investment? Are they serious collectors? Do they have a good taste for art? The reputation as a collector matters the most. The place. Unless we avoid politics and lobbying, why would a reputed public and private organization, or for that matter a museum, buy a particular artist's work? They must have seen something in the artist and his work, isn't it? To have one's work collected by such an organization like an MNC or a large corporation is a great deal for an artist's career and that surely boosts up his pricing. 
एज एंड पब्लिकेशन दिस पॉइंट आर वेरी सब्जेक्टिव बट सच पैरामीटर्स कैन नॉट बी इग्नोर्ड आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू द चेक लिस्ट इफ एन आर्टिस्ट वर्क इज गुड इनफ एट अ यंग एज देन वॉट विल बी हिज फ्यूचर राइट फॉर श्योर इज ही कमिंग फ्रॉम अ सिटी दैट हैज रिच कलेक्शन ऑफ हेरिटेज एंड कल्चर डज दैट हेल्प द आर्टिस्ट येस इन अ वे हिज बैकग्राउंड इज ऑलरेडी नर्चर्ड सिंस चाइल्डहुड वॉट अबाउट पब्लिकेशन get featured in a good publication or having a book on your art is very crucial unless a paid article who will give you free pages in this world who wants to know about the artist and his art that means he has something to say and contribute which can matter to the society all of these components help to decide an artist's price per square feet so the next question will be why is the pricing based on square feet to many buying art on square feet feels like they are buying floor tiles the basic idea is to bring transparency and fairness in dealing in this way we create universal pricing for the artwork depending on the size art is like an emotional product and sentimental work of an artist how can you value an emotion how to fix the price of a sentiment if a seller be it an artist curator or gallerist is not satisfied with a particular work he can sell the work for 5000 rupees on the other hand if he is in love with that work he can sell the same work for 50000 rupees in june or maybe for 70000 rupees in july depending on his liking mood and his financial appetite if that is the case a buyer is at a loss because he is not paying for the quality of the work but the current mood of an artist speaking of the art galleries if they want to sell a fresh work or a collector who wants to sell few of works from his collection they know the universal price based on the square feet that is one now let's imagine you do not fix price on the basis of square feet each seller artist curator promoter gallery and collector will quote different prices based on various factors which lead to mistrust and chaos in the art market it should be noted that if a seller hikes 5 to 10% on his favorite work is normal if discounts the work is also cool it is their personal decision however what we are discussing here is the basic standard price or in simpler terms the mrp of the work so who decides the price at a macro level basic pricing is derived from any country's economic and cultural environment speaking at a micro level generally it is understood that depending on the demand and supply formula the price of an artwork is decided But the point is how can one decide the price of an emerging artist or an artist who has just passed out from an art college hence only the demand factor doesn't come in help here a well experienced gallerist and its curator along with the artist decides the pricing in most of the cases are you buying at the right price every person can feel his own guts and conviction by going to buy a shirt we all know looking at the shirt if it's expensive or not do we know what components are used the cost of raw material or for that matter the kind of fabric used in it all we check is if it looks cool on us and correlate that coolness with the price if both matches we buy it something within us tells us whether to buy or not at a given price this may happen because of our perception the society we live in the surrounding we belong to or maybe our needs and wants the same thing applies when you go for art shopping conviction and trust are two important things to remember by looking at the artwork do you feel the price quoted is worth it if not then ask the representative why for that the first step is to go to a reputed and trusted brand that is art gallery or a curator to earn extra thousands or a few lakhs no reputed brand would risk its image and the second step is to see as much as art you can see experience always helps curator's approach personally quality remains at the top of my list i fix the base price calculating the artist's thought process devotion for his craft and intention to work in the future 
It is all about dedication and love for your art. Only then an artist can grow. When an artist grows, his monetary value automatically escalates. I do not believe in creating unnecessary hype for the artist or his works in order to increase his value. I believe the more you hype, the faster the artist falls. Rather, I prefer to focus on promoting and reaching out to people on the basis of quality, skills, perspective and thought process of the artist. Of course, it will take time for its price to see an upward trend, but it will cement its place. The idea is to rise and not fall. So, I hope this blog was helpful in knowing the process of valuation of an artwork. I hope you'll start looking at artworks in a different perspective after this video. So the next time you go and buy a painting, before that, check out this video and take a quick revision. Till then, happy collecting. Thank you.